Hey guys, uh, we'll start with an uh, Ross humble version and uh, we'll start with Ross 2 and previously we saw the Noitik and how to make the simulation and how to make the robot using Jetson and all those things I explained uh, for Ross using an uh, Noitik version. So my humble request is to change to the humble, the Ross version. Okay, and we'll start with the tutorial and this is an uh, starting of Ross 2 and we'll uh, We'll understand the flow of ROS2 and what are the steps we need to follow to make our own robot. We'll uh, gain from uh, Turtlebot uh, Emmanuel thing, right? So previously I posted the ROS1, a noisy version of a Turtlebot uh, uh, simulation using Gazebo. But uh, ROS2 have uh, three options. Uh, we can simulate the robot, Gazebo, Ignition and Isaac. These are the three things we can simulate our robot. So. We'll start with the uh, tutorial now. Uh, first, uh, first we need to go to Gazebo simulation. I will give this link in my description. You can follow that and uh, scroll it down. You can see here. Please follow the PC setup. So for uh, go inside that link and scroll it down. can see here in sudo apt install humble gazebo so we will need to install this apt uh, package uh, for gazebo thing and this is for cartographer and this is for humble cartographer ROS. these two package will be used for uh, uh, the cartographer mapping process slam toolkit so this is for uh, nav2 base and uh, nav2 humble base things will be used to these uh, apt packages to make the uh, navigation in uh, Turtleboard 3 and these three APT package for uh, Turtleboard. So these are the Debian uh, dependencies. So next, uh, after follow this, you need to install these things in your terminal. So after this, uh, go to simulation in Gazebo simulation. So scroll it down. You you may see the steps which they give in their uh, flow. So you can see here, uh, I already uh, cloned this repository in my directory. Okay, otherwise uh, we'll follow once again for making a directory. Uh, basic Linux commands we needed, right? So type nkdir. Type nkdir and total next right um, uh, next we need to make a src folder right next yeah build on build now you can see I created only the src folder after making this colcon build now we have build install and lag these uh, these four files three files is created by the colcon build next we need to clone this repository so this repository have an uh, title bot uh, essential files and uh, URDF formats inside this uh, they already we installed the Debian dependencies for this Turtlebot simulation. It will be in OPT uh, uh, area of uh, in a home directory. It will be available or hidden files like it will be available. So we can find out from that. So after installing this, we need to escape from SRC. And in uh, ROS one, we will use the catkin make. But here uh, we use an uh, Colcon make Colcon build, sorry, Colcon build. Okay. It will be made uh, files. Uh, is any error is happening? Uh, we need to solve. Otherwise, it will be uh, build the Turtlebot or GitHub file.
okay it will be grown will make we wait for some time and uh, we can uh, see here the turtle bot uh, in gazebo so you can see they export turtle bot model waffle right this is for uh, turtle bot versions like uh, waffle and burger or the versions i will use to find out the package in launch file so we need to refer this name as an uh, turtle bot model okay after uh, building process finish uh, we need to copy this export turtle bot model copy this enter and cross to launch turtle bot 3 gazebo this will launch the world with an turtle bot waffle model right we need to source it now source now we can launch okay after sourcing or uh, it will find out uh, terminal will find out where is exactly our file is located so after close this after uh, source it uh, we can launch the gazebo with a turtle bot 3 and open another terminal and type uh, for in ROS one will uh, use the ROS topic list to find out the uh, topics and uh, active topics using this command right ROS topic list so here we'll use ROS top ROS 2 topic list okay uh, it will be list active uh, topics in our uh, workspace so next command these are the topics running on our terminal you can see the camera and the uh, xcmd file and the imu modem and join state these topics are running on our terminal so a uh, ROS2 uh, node list it will be list what are the nodes running on our terminal so camera drive is one of the node to activate the camera operation so gazebo is one of the node and this imu turtle bot 3 imu is one of the node to activate the imu sensor and this is a differential drive to control the wheel mobility and the laser is to activate the laser ladder ladder thing to activate in our turtle bot so these many nodes will be used for uh, activate the sensors, activate the modules and activate the uh, wheel mobility those things will be used these nodes and these topics will be used for communicating between different nodes and different uh, active uh, action and service things right so we see uh, topic and uh, node next is ROS2 uh, ROS2 uh, service list okay and this many services running on our uh, workspace and exactly the, these three topics is we needed to understand the things so next is also to action list there is no action right so no problem now uh, uh, we'll start we launch the gazebo and we see what are the topics and what are the nodes is running so go to web browser scroll it down you can see here to operate the turtle board we use this fast to run teleoperator 3 or uh, teleop keyboard so this command will be used to control the uh, mobility of the uh, robot right so i got some error okay i need to uh, follow the uh, which version we are launch right import bar for right and this is this is a power so this can identify the exact so now we can launch okay now it's launch right uh, go to 
go to uh, turtle boat or belly booting and click W to forward motion. So now the turtle boat is moving, right? So we understand. Now, now you will understand uh, using RQD. RQD is an visualization toolkit to identify and visualize the topics and actions and uh, nodes which is connected between and which is communicated between one and one, right? You can see here uh, teleop teleop keyboard and CMD well this title board differential. This is one node. This is one node. Using this topic, it's, uh, each one is communicated. So like that, the differential is on B and this is our keyboard uh, laptop keyboard so this laptop keyboard is sending the velocity and acceleration command to the turtle board differential two wheel driver and using this communication protocol is like uh, cmd valve so using this uh, topic the both nodes is communicating right and these are the nodes this is for camera activation this is for uh, turtle board uh, scan ladder activation this is ime activation okay and uh, we'll see what are the things is available on ROS2 using a ROS uh, topic list, ROS topic uh, node list, and ROS2 uh, service. Uh, these many things we understand from this. And in a slam, we'll use a cartographer and use a slam toolkit which is used for uh, ROS sample versions. So we'll uh, scroll it down and go to sample. And here uh, you can see the mapping thing. Okay, next is check that program. I don't know. I need to go to the report. So, okay. to relaunch everything I think uh, to do what phone uh, drag between uh, what so let's re relaunch and now we'll launch the gazebo and now we'll launch the obvious and with the uh, cartographer mapping so you can see here the weight or uh, light white thing or uh, light gray thing. So this is a mapping. Launch the tele operation key. Then W to forward motion. So now the turtle board is doing a cartographer mapping with a slam toolkit. So this is the process we need to follow to uh, make our own robo. So this is a tutorial uh, you will understand how to launch the turtle board and how to do the, do the mapping. So in next video I will uh, explain the entire uh, navigation stack of ROS Nav2. ROS Nav2 uh, is different from the ROS1 and uh, different is between uh, DDS and uh, uh, ROS style communication uh, in ROS and ROS2. So this is a matter and uh, we'll start with an uh, ROS2 example using a turtle board and we'll continue with our, uh, our own tutorial and how to make our own robot VRDF model and how to simulate and how to make the robot in your ISO uh, These things will be uh, upcoming tutorial where we will understand how to make our own nodes uh, to activate the cameras and uh, LEDs uh, will be seen in upcoming videos. Thank you.